Hello YouTube, welcome to McKinney Science. This is Gatorade Science Part 3. A lot of people, a lot of teachers were asking for a little more in-depth explanation on how this works and a little bit slower than what was making the rounds on TikTok. So here you go. Please keep in mind that depending on the level of education, this can be used all the way from elementary school just to show maybe color changes, maybe introduce acids and bases up to where I was at with middle school. And I'll tell you exactly what my students what their level was um, at that time. And then even up into high school, acid-based titration or chemical neutralization of acids. You need a yellow lemon lime Gatorade. In the original video, I had opened it up and you just add just a little bit of vinegar to it. A little bit of vinegar, that's all you need. Right? And you're good to go with that one. The key ingredient for the red Gatorade that makes this whole thing work is called phenol red. Phenol red is a pH indicator. If the solution is acidic, it turns yellow. If it's alkaline or basic, it turns pink. It actually doesn't turn red, it turns pink. That's the uh, color range for phenol red. So what I did is I took um, some phenol red. Now it's a concentrate. There's a link in the comments, by the way. I'll drop that below so you can get some of it. As far as for teachers, this is one of the cheapest chemicals you can get to show demonstrations. Right? It's really not that expensive and it's a concentrate. So what I would do is I just pour a little bit of this into a container and then fill it up with water so I have plenty. So I already have this one available. And then I would just pour that into the red Gatorade container. Now it's not toxic or anything like that, um, but just wearing the goggles just for, to show what you should be doing for safety, safety measures. But nothing in here is like extremely toxic or, or anything like that. Like that. Wrong lid. So, and so now we have, this is our setup, right? We have red Gatorade, we have yellow Gatorade, okay? So what I did is I took the red, poured it into a Erlenmeyer flask. I just called it a container in school, depending on where you're at. Uh, you might wanna give it its proper name. In it goes. Now students might notice that it looks a little bit pink. It actually looks pretty good in that, that solution there, as far as red Gatorade goes. So I pour the red, phenol red in here. It's a pH indicator. And then I'm gonna take my Gatorade that I've added a little bit of vinegar to. And it goes and it should turn it yellow pretty quickly. You don't need a whole lot of that at all. Putting it in with the Gatorade dilutes it a little bit. If you just use straight vinegar, it might not fizz or it might not turn back. And then I said, hey, what do you all think this is after I took this powder and added it back in you get some fizzing and then it turns back to kind of a reddish orangish color basically because the solution is basic again so the phenol red turns back to pink so it'll go it won't go back and forth every time okay you have you have to just kind of one time works best and then you start with new new liquids but that's it so my students at the middle school level already knew what phenol red was. So they were tasked with thinking about that, that it was a color change and then how that happened. Elementary schools, you could just use, do it as a color change. High school, you could talk about titration a little bit. So um, hope that helps. Hope that clarifies a little bit. Leave questions below, I'll get to them. Um, Till next time, stay strong, be kind to one another, and science on.